I think the hardest part in experimental research anyway is knowing when you've hit a roadblock because of you personally or if because the experiment just won't work. Like we don't know enough to make it work or we don't have the hardware to make it work. And I think just being able to tell the difference is like the most important thing. It often feels like you're not making any progress, but really if you don't have that good foundational layer of knowing how to work all of the microwave equipment, you're never gonna be able to do the hard, really cool experiments. You are also just not aware, I think, of what you're doing and what the broad goals are in the first two to three years of your PhD because um, I don't know how it works in other places, but like in a lab, there's just like so much basic stuff to learn. I definitely think I spent like the first three years of my PhD being like, nothing works. <laughs> and now that I'm getting towards the end, it's more easy to see that like something's gonna play out and it's gonna be fine or like it won't, but it's more towards the, it will work out part. And I think you do have, you know, months where little things are breaking and things aren't working, you don't understand them. And then one day it just clicks. So I think the most challenging part of the field and for me personally, is to just think of something novel. And not just novel for the sake of being novel, but novel for the sake of being useful. Mm -hmm. Just ask questions. I think that was something that I really missed out on like my first year or two because I was insecure and I really wanted to prove myself. So I didn't ask as many questions as I could. Even the things that people expect you to know, it's a lot of things. I think it's fine if you forget them every once in a while. You know, you don't always have to phrase it as if, like, you're a complete moron, because you're not. You can just be like, hey, I remember I studied this thing. I don't remember the answer. Can you remind me? I wish I did that. Yeah, there's so much jargon and acronyms, and for a new person in the field, I could see how that would be so frustrating. So, yeah, even if it's something that you think everyone in the room but you knows, just ask it, because honestly, they're all putting on a brave face anyways. I think... Physics is both way harder than we think it is and also not nearly as hard as people think it is at the same time because mm -hmm. I think there are so many more people can, that can contribute to physics than people think because generally people think, oh, you're in physics, you must be super smart. I'm like, okay, maybe, but like I think way more people can contribute to the field than they believe they can.